Here's your chance to be a jockey at Arapahoe Park. First, we take you into the jockey's room with Dennis Collins and what preparations jockeys do before coming on to the racetrack. And then we put you in the saddle with Francisco Giles, wearing a GoPro aboard Tearing Up Thunder. The Philly taking on the boys will go on to win the Colorado Derby. Second stakes win in less than a week. An amazing performance from Kalinda Dawn. And jockey Dennis Collins celebrates the dominant gate to wire victory it's over R Dub kicking clear to victory in the CTBA Futurity. R Dub and Dennis Collins over Doug Boy Brown. Then this wildcat is four off the third, and you go with the one to catch, Cracker Jack Kid, ranging up again to the outside for Efren Prado, and then comes Ace away down the outside. Two 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 Cracker Jack Kid, oh, 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 he's hanging, he? He's wanting to get beat. And he is. He's beat. Did he get beat? I thought I was going to win one. He just he doesn't want to win that. He got things. Hangs like a cheap suit. Feels like a million bucks on the backside, and that's about all Wow. A very close photo finish between the one to go and the five back of John Kidd. I don't know. I don't know. It's close. What? He might have got the head bob. Outside. He might have got the head bob. He was only about two and a half strides ahead of that horse, wasn't he? Oh, the Prado? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Look, let me show you. The plug with plastic to about here, so even when it goes down into there, you know it's not going to blow up until it hits the end. in the starting gate. Gates open race six is underway. And tearing up Thunder slightly slower than the others to begin. And several of them want to be part of the early pace picture with Special Deputy rushing up to contest the lead with real shaky hard road in between that pair. Wider on the course are Wimbledon and Tommy Two-Stroke. First five covered by two and a half lengths. And then a break of two lengths back to Midnight Withdrawal, who's third last just in front of Tearing Up Thunder and Midnight Con charts a wider course racing at the rear of the field and about seven lengths from the front as they head down the back stretch and trading punches on the front end. It is Special Deputy putting the nose in front, one off the fence from real shaky to the inside. Justin's fault and Tommy two stroke to the outside, four of them in a line with another three lengths to Hard Road and the White Silk sizing them up from fifth place along the inside of Midnight Withdrawal and then Midnight Con second last and tearing up Thunder is back at the tail and there's been no slackening of the pace ever since the start as these four on the front end continue to slug it out. It's real shaky who appears to have the best position saving ground on the inside with Special Deputy continuing to plug away and then Tommy two stroke Justin's fault has dropped back into fourth place and they're followed in fifth place 
by Midnight Withdrawal trying to make up ground as they swing into the home stretch. It's very wide open and Real Shaky cuts the corner for Kelly Bridges. Tommy Two Stroke starting to charge Midnight Withdrawal on the outside. Real Shaky trying to fend them off as two lengths to spare with 100 yards to go and it's Real Shaky being pushed to the line by Kelly Bridges and going on to win his second race in a row at Arapahoe Park, defeating a closing Midnight Withdrawal and then Tommy Two Stroke, Dustin's fault, hard road and tearing up thunder. Final time for the mile, one minute 39.73 seconds. The winner number one, Real Shaky, finishing second, number six, Midnight Withdrawal. Third went to number seven, Tommy Two Stroke, and fourth, number five, Dustin's Fault. The winner of the race, Real Shaky, covered the one mile lap of the Arapahoe Park track in one minute, 39.73 seconds, averaging a speed of 36 miles per hour. Tearing Up Thunder broke slowly and was last for most of the race until perking up in the home stretch. So Francisco Giles had a good view of the rest of the field. If you like what you saw and want to experience more of being a jockey, the new Racewood Race Trainer designed in Great Britain simulates the mechanics of a racehorse with an interactive display that responds to the jockey's decisions in a virtual race and monitors the jockey's fitness.